Good morning you guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Grace and I just woke up a little bit ago and I think I'm finally caught up on sleep. I feel so much more like well rested and I'm ready to get some things done today. So I just put on some workout clothes and I'm about to go to spin and I'll show you guys my outfit a little bit closer. I'm just wearing an Aloe sports bra and a pair of black Aloe leggings and I just got this sports bra actually in New York City and I literally love it It's super flattering and I feel like it holds in the girls really well and I feel like it just like Shapes your body really well. So I get my hair done tomorrow and I literally cannot wait my roots are like So tragic and it's been like almost two months since I got my hair done last and I'm in desperate need so it's around 11 right now so I'm just gonna I just my face and then put my shoes on and probably go because I think my workout today is at 11.30. I feel like I'm going to spin in every vlog, but I mean, this is just really what I do like almost every day. I just uploaded a new vlog this morning, so if you haven't watched that, then make sure to go check that out after you watch this video. It was my New York City haul and it was kind of a random vlog, but I feel like you guys are really going to like seeing all the new things that I got. So make sure to check that out after you watch this video. I'm drinking a Celsius right now. I haven't drank one in a long time. I drank them at school a lot when I needed to like grind on homework and stuff but I haven't drank one in like probably over a month I kind of tried to stop drinking them because they would make me really anxious throughout the day but I love the taste of them so I'm drinking them again because I actually have like 40 in my fridge right now from school that I didn't drink so we're drinking a Celsius grape also people hate on grape but grape is the best flavor it literally tastes like grape soda I'm telling you if you haven't tried grape try it another one of my favorite flavors is the orange one so you need to try grape though if you've not tried this flavor I'm gonna try to finish this and then we're gonna go into our class I think today is one of my favorite instructors so I'm really excited and I'm ready to get a good sweat in so let's go so we're back with wet hair but I just wanted to show you guys I think I'm gonna try a new coffee recipe today one of my favorite youtubers Gretchen Garrity actually shared her coffee recipe on one of her recent vlogs and she gets the ice brown sugar shaken espresso from Starbucks and that's also my favorite drink so I wanted to try to remake it at home kind of like she did so she uses Nespresso pods which is what the Starbucks drink is it's like espresso blended with just like milk but I don't have an espresso machine so I actually just grabbed this from Target it's like the blonde roast and I'm gonna try to see what this tastes like instead of the espresso so I have this coffee cup that I got from Amazon and then I'm gonna go ahead and make this in the Keurig and and she uses oat milk obviously brown sugar and then I think I'm gonna put a little bit of vanilla syrup in it just because I like things that are a lot sweeter and then she like froths it with one of these frothers so so while that's going I'm gonna take like like a tablespoon of brown sugar and put it in this glass with ice and then I'm gonna put like two pumps of this sugar-free vanilla in there before I shake it up and then I'm gonna pour the espresso into this mixture I'm going to put half oat milk and half heavy whipping cream in this and then I'm going to froth it. Whoa, it looks so good. It's really cloudy so I'm not sure how the lighting is gonna look right now but I think I'm gonna sit and journal for a little bit actually if I'm being honest I haven't journaled in like months honestly I think the last time I did it was probably around like Christmas break so I have not done this in a very long time so don't think that I'm like someone who journals every day like I really only do it whenever I feel like I want to or like or there's a thought I want to write down or something so I don't know in the car today I was just thinking about like a year ago and like how Obviously my life has changed so much and I feel like I've grown so much and I've had this journal for about like a year now I think yeah, my first entry was on May 10th last year So I've had it for about a year and it's just like crazy to read like pages from last year and like last summer and like The headspace I was in compared to this year. It's just like really crazy how your mindset can change and like your life can change so quickly and 
I don't know. So I'm gonna sit here and like read a few of these pages in here for a little bit and I'm gonna write a new page for today. So if you've never heard of the five minute journal, it's basically like a journal that has like prompts already written for you and so you'll put like the date up here obviously and then there's a quote on each page that it's just kind of like an inspirational quote to read before you start and then we have I am grateful for what would make today great daily affirmations three amazing things that happened today and how could I have made today even better so this part up here is for the morning and then this is for night but if I'm being honest, I never really follow through with the nighttime part. I kind of just use this as a little bit of a prompt, but I honestly kind of just ramble about like my random thoughts and whatever I'm wanting to get down on paper, I'll write down. But I love this journal. I will link this down below. I think I got it on Amazon. Journaling isn't something that I do like every day, like I was saying, but it's just kind of something that whenever I feel like I want to, then I'll pick it up. It's not like a very routine thing for me, but I'm hoping that this summer and especially when I study abroad that, that I will try to do this whenever I can just to have the memories and like remember what I was feeling in like those moments. It's nighttime now and I just got into bed for the night but I wanted to give another little update on this book because I kind of feel like I gave it a bad recommendation I feel like but the more that I've read it's actually not too bad it's definitely not my favorite Colleen Hoover book I think it would probably be like towards the bottom of my ranking um, based on the books that I've read of hers but it is so good I, I mean I'm just big on like realistic stuff like I'm the same with like movies too like if it's not like a semi realistic like setting then I usually like can't continue reading it but it's gotten better and I feel like it's kind of just like a like a feel good book and I'm over halfway finished now and I'm gonna try to finish it in the next week or so like I said I'm so slow at reading books so I gotta give myself a lot of time to finish it but yeah, it's gotten a lot better than the beginning. It was just really, really unrealistic, but it's gotten better, I will say. And I don't know, I feel like none of her books are bad. I just like some of them better than others. Like, if I were to recommend one book for you to read of hers, then it would probably be Ugly Love. I mean, I know a lot of people say that It Ends With Us is the best book, but... Which I also love that one, but I think that Ugly Love is the best that I've read so far. And I think after this one, I want to read um, Reminders of Him, as I've heard, is really good. So yeah, I will keep you updated with how I like this in the end. And yeah, if you have any like good either Colleen Hoover books or any other book recommendations, then let me know because I've been trying to grow my collection and just kind of expand my reading this year so let me know i'm also so excited to get my hair done very much needed and i always feel very put together and like clean the day that i get my hair done so i'm so excited i'm gonna vlog tomorrow too so i will just see you guys in the morning it is currently the next morning and i'm about to leave to go to my hair appointment and i'm so excited because my hair needs to be done so badly i've said that a million times in this vlog but i'm so excited and i think i'm gonna run to starbucks before to grab a coffee and then we're gonna go and it's another rainy day here it's like our fifth day in a row of like gross weather and just rain so and I wanted to tan today, but I didn't realize it was going to be raining again. So I just have on this romper that I got from Aritzia and I love it. And since it's kind of cold outside, I'm bringing this sweatshirt to have like over it and stuff. So we're going to go get Starbucks, go to our appointment, and hopefully my hair is looking brighter and blonder when I come back. You guys, I can't get over the color of this romper. If they still have this on the website, I'll link it down below because I just think it's so cute and perfect for summer. Like, this color is insane. But I turned the camera on actually because I think I'm going to take this shot before I go. Because I think it's about to be expired and I could really use a shot of something. This is a turmeric shot, so it has made it with a blend of coconut water, pineapple juice, turmeric juice, lemon juice, and ground black pepper. 
so i'm really scared for this i i feel like i've taken a turmeric shot before and i hated it more than i hate the ginger shots so we'll just have to see and i'm really freaking really nervous i gotta have my water on standby okay Okay, it actually wasn't that bad. It just tastes like... I thought it was going to be a lot more spicy than that, but it just tastes like... I think it tasted mainly like pineapple juice, so it was actually like pretty good. But yeah, I think I'm going to go to Starbucks now because I'm really craving a coffee. And then we're going to go to my hair appointment because for the 100th and final time, my roots are in desperate need. So I also feel like I'm losing my tan because it's been so rainy here. The whole week before I left for New York, it was like so sunny and I got so much color. And now that I'm back, it's like I'm losing color and it's so rainy. But it's Memorial Weekend this weekend and I think we're going to go to the lake. So I'm hoping I get really tan there. I'm going to stop rambling and go to Starbucks now. I just got to my hair place, but I wanted to show you the drink that I got. I usually get the brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso but today i am trying the chocolate shake and espresso and it's really good so if you want to take a screenshot that was my order today and it's so so good it literally tastes like a chocolate milkshake i'm running late so i need to go inside but but pro tip i always bring my airpods into a hair appointment with me because i obviously love getting my hair done but i hate sitting there for so many hours I'm usually in there for like two and a half, sometimes three, if I'm doing a full highlight, but I think today is only a partial. So what that means is that she'll only do like the top part of my hair rather than like all the underneath and everything. I mainly only do partials, but I'll do a full highlight like once a year just to get like the underneath of my hair and like just all over. If you guys were wondering, I'm actually a natural like dirty blonde when i was like really little i had blonde hair but then as i like got older to like ages of like 10 to like 14 to 15 i had like dirty blonde and it was like getting darker and darker obviously as i got older so i decided to get highlights when i was like i think i got my first highlights when i was like 15 and i've been getting them ever since so you guys already know about this lip balm i'm almost out of it i actually need to go get a new one but it smells so good Okay, let's go get some fresh blonde. back with more blonde i am so happy it looks so good she did kind of like a money piece today so like the front pieces are a bit brighter but it looks so good and i'm so happy so my appointment was at 11 45 and it's 2 40 right now so that took literally three hours i'm gonna go home and make something to eat and then i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do the rest of the day i kind of want to clean out my closet a little bit just because I feel like there's so much clothes in there that I know I don't wear and I just need to clear it out and start selling some things. So I'm either going to sell them on Poshmark or depending on how much I'm just going to take it to like Goodwill or something. So yeah, I'm going to drive home right now and I can let you know what salon I go to if you live in Jefferson City. So comment down below or DM me on Instagram if you want to know what salon I go to because she's amazing. So I'm about to get ready for bed, but I just wanted to show you guys. I just got this cute little white nightstand for next to my bed, and I'm planning on getting like a bigger lamp, I think, that's like more of like a like a circle shape, if that makes sense, like, like with like a wider rim to put right there, and I think it would look really cute because I have my sunset lamp there right now, which I love whenever the lights are off and stuff, but I think I want to get like a bigger lamp so I'm planning on going to Target soon to get a bigger lamp I'm so excited to like organize this and make it all cute right now it just has my journal and this book that I've been reading on it but I'm planning on getting like more stuff to put on it and maybe something for down there but I just think it's so cute but yeah I'm about to get ready for bed I might put on a movie or something I'm not really sure 
I'm gonna go make an ice water and then go to bed. So I will see you guys in the morning. here because I've actually been editing it and I have kind of a lot of footage so I'm gonna go ahead and end it off thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to comment down below any video suggestions you have for me and make sure to stay tuned for all of my study abroad content and just my summer content in general I'm gonna be posting a lot this summer so you don't want to miss out I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!